Hello Mission Hill family. It is Thursday and it is our time for midday prayer time. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, we will spend a few minutes in his presence, seeking his face and praising him and worshiping him for all the good and great things he has been doing, but also for who he is. So thank you so much for joining. Uh, let me just open up with a prayer even right now. Everlasting Father, we thank you for the few minutes that you allowed us to make a stop in the middle of the day, oh God, to just say thank you, to just say thank you to you. Praise be to your name. Lord, may your name be glorified through our lives and whatever we do even right now, oh God. Will you receive all the glory as we testify of your victory, your grace, and your mercy over our lives, in our lives, oh God. And thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. I want us to... Um, pray today some few prayer points through Psalms 23. Uh, verse 1 said, Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. On uh, certain version of the Bible said, Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack. I love this verse. Lord, he's the one taking care of me. He's the one taking care of you also as well. That means whatever is going on to your life, it's not like you're not going to have a need, but when the need comes up, the Lord always provides. Amen, because he is faithful in taking care of his. And we are his, we are his children, we are part of his kingdom, we are part of the family of God. Therefore, Lord knows what we need. You know, most of sometimes that we cry even for something that we just want, is not really a need, but one thing that is so sure, the Lord knows your need. He knows your need, and he will provide for your need. I love this Psalms. Verse 2 says, He lets me rest in the green pasture. He leads me to calm water. He gives me a new strength. He leads me on paths that are right for the good of His name. That is amazing. That is amazing. That He will guide our lives. In fact, it's just like a, He led the way and we follow. And he will take us from situation to a situation, from a need to a need, from um, an issue to a place to another place. The Lord will guide our path. He will guide our lives as long as we depend on him because he is our shepherd. I just want to make a stop and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being a good Lord, a good shepherd, a good father, a, a, a good father, a good God to us. Will you join me? Lord, we thank you that you are a good shepherd. We thank you because you take care of your own very good and very well. There's no one like you. To the point that, oh God, we can declare that you are our shepherd. You are the Lord of our lives and the situations, oh God, that we shall not lack because you always come through. So Father, even at this few minutes that we can spend, oh God, Seeking your face. Lord, we call this minute blessed in the name of Jesus. Hear our cry and listen to our prayers because you are good, because you are amazing, because there's no one like you. Receive all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Give God the glory for that. Verse 4 said, Even if I walk through the very dark valley, I will not be afraid because you are with me. I am want us to cultivate the consciousness of his divine presence through faith. He is with us. God is with you in your office. He's with you when you're driving. He's with you when you're at home, when you're walking around your yard, whatever you do. He is always with us. That is such a great reason do not, so that we do not give up to fear. Because we know our Lord is with us. We live with the consciousness through faith of his divine presence with us. We have no reason to fear. No reason to fear nothing in this life. Because our God, our Lord is with us. Everlasting Father, many people out there right now. God dealing with fear. Fear of tomorrow. Fear what will happen. Fear of lack of finances. Fear of uh, health issues and struggles, fear of the bad news, oh God, from a doctor or what's going on on the news around the world. God, I'm praying even right now that you strengthen the body at Mission Hill Church, that, oh Lord, 
we will not give up through fear. We will live in the consciousness of your divine presence with us through faith, O oh God. And because you are with us, O oh Lord, we have no reason to give up through fear. O oh Father, we thank you. We give you the glory. So I'm praying even right now, O oh God, on whatever issue, O oh Lord, our church family, O oh God, is going through, O oh God, or an individual or a family, O oh God, is going through, oh Father. Lord, I am praying because you are our strength, because you are pro our provider, you are Holy Father. God, will you step in? Bring healing where healing is needed. Bring provision where provision, oh God, is needed. Finances, oh Lord, where money is needed to take care of a bill or to provide for, for, for food. God, will you, will you provide, Lord? Will you take care of that, oh God? Wisdom, where wisdom is needed, oh God, in the lives of our family, church family or members or gardener or visitor members lord i'm praying that you meet each and every one of us today to the point of his needs in the name of jesus lord we know that you are able to do so oh father god we look unto you we depend on you we cry unto you jesus because we know that you are able we know oh father there's nothing impossible to you so lord you are the lord of our lives you are the good shepherd that has never failed. And we love you, Jesus. Step into, oh God, the mess of this present lives, oh God. Challenges, oh God, issue that day in, day out, your children are dealing with. God, give living testimonies. Bring peace and strength, oh God. Focus, oh Lord, and dedication, oh God. To the name of the Lord, to what he has called us to do, to the responsibilities of God that's upon us, O oh Father. Lord, we pray even right now that you guide us through, that you bless our lives, O oh Father. Lord, we thank you so much because you are able, O oh Father. So, Lord, I'm praying even right now, is somebody, O oh God, seeking for clarity? Will you do so, Lord, in the name of Jesus? Father, we pray even right now, O oh God. For anyone out there, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, now a church family, O oh Father, that, O oh God, is getting discouraged because waiting for an answer and no answer and fear is kicking in. Lord, I'm praying for the spirit of confidence and trust. In the name of Jesus, that you will take care of whatever issue, O oh Lord, that you bring a solution where solution is needed, O oh God. Wisdom, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, into the lives of your children. Will you receive all the glory and honor and adoration? We thank you for the word of comfort, your word, that is life and spirit, that can enlighten our path, O oh Lord, for your glory. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for praying with us. Uh, thank you so much for making a stop and take a time to just spend uh, a few minutes in his presence and encouraging you to continue doing so. Let's keep the momentum going. Let's just not do it only on Tuesday and Thursday. Yes, a specific time that we decided to do to do so. But however, for the rest of the week, you know, make it a habit in the middle of the day, stop and thank him, worship him, and then submit every challenge and every issue that you are dealing with in the hands of the Lord. He's able to bring a solution. Also, keep on praying for one another. Do not forget to pray for the church family. Um... You don't know what people are going through. People are going through a lot, but we know that uh, God is faithful. Also, through it all, our faith triumph, becomes stronger. And also, at the same time, God is giving us living testimonies because we just choose and decide to pray. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless the work of your, of your hands. Can't wait to see you on Sunday as we continue being fed by through word of God, through, through what God is doing. I just can wait. This Sunday we have a James Simbola um, sharing the word of God. Uh, please invite friends and just come into the presence of the Lord with a great expectation and the Lord will for sure bless your life. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for praying with us and have a wonderful rest of your day.